My name is James Fong and I am the horticulturist of the Australasia collection here at the UC Botanical Garden. Today I'm going to highlight some of the tree ferns that we have in the collection. The tree ferns have been around for hundreds of millions of years. It's thought that many of these tree ferns were food to dinosaurs and other prehistoric animals. So the Australasia collection is well furnished with, with ferns from the Dicksonia genus and the Cyathea genus. This one over here is Dicksonia antarctica. Uh, it's also known as the Tasmanian tree fern. And this plant grows to be about 15 to 20 feet tall. It is uh, well used in horticulture and in the Bay Area it does very well if you have a moist, shady to partly shady location for it. Um, so what makes a tree fern uh, a tree fern? So is it a tree? Is it a fern? Well, tree ferns aren't actually trees. If you take a look at this example here, this is a cross section of a tree fern, uh, specifically of the Dicksonia genus. And as you can see from this cross section, the trunk isn't a woody trunk, but a rooty trunk. Uh, the trunk is made out of roots from uh, that originate from the crown of the plant. And that's what forms uh, the long structures here. And if you look closely, you could even see some of the roots coming out of the sides of the trunk. If you are growing these plants somewhere that gets a little hotter and drier in the summer, then a good thing to do would be to wet down the trunks in the hotter climates because they like to be kept on the more moist side. And since that has all those roots in there, then it helps them survive those dry environments. So let's head on over. Now this is one of my favorite tree ferns in the collection. This tree fern here is called the black tree fern or Cyathea medullaris. And it's one of my favorite tree ferns because it has these dark petioles here. And this plant is still pretty young. It, in the wild, it can grow up to be 60 feet tall. And let's see, this plant has been here for about six years. So in the next uh, couple years, it'll be potentially 10 feet tall and eventually getting even taller than this tree next door. So this is one to look out for when you're visiting the garden and hopefully you could continue visiting back and checking out these tree ferns grow. The path that we just went on is what I call the tree fern path in the Australasia collection. It's located at the north side of the Australasia collection and it's one of the first things that people generally see when entering and the Australasia collection hosts dozens of tree ferns so feel free to come by and take a look. I'm James Fong and thank you for joining us on this short tree fern tour in Australasia. Please feel free to come visit us and if you're out here, I may be out here too, and you're welcome to ask me any questions while I'm around. <laughs>